A major boost for Manchester United as Lisandro Martinez is progressing. Welcome to the United Hotspot. My name is Webb and here is a quick update on the injury situation at Manchester United. I've got some good news, some fair news and some bad news. Where should I start? Well, since it's a Friday, I think for your mental health, let me start off with the good news. Now, guys, Licha the Butcher is progressing extremely well. Now, as we speak, the club has given an update on his status. Remember, he got badly injured in our game against, uh, I think it was Wolves. And we were all sad as United players. Uh, I think it was either West Ham or Wolves. I forget the team we are playing, but it doesn't matter. But uh, it was said that he's going to be out until the end of this month of March. Now, here's the situation. Licha is back training. He is currently not at Carrington, but the club and his country, Argentina, agreed that they need to handle him carefully and his rehabilitation carefully so that no mistakes are made so the agreement was he is going to leave carrington and join the argentine national team that's why he's part of the national team that was summoned he's going to join them in the united states but he will not play the two friendly games they've, they've got against i think they're playing costa rica and uh, and uh, they're going to play costa rica and el salvador in the u.s he will be part of the team but he will not play, but he's going to pro proceed with his recovery with his national teammates, uh, national teammates, because there's not going to be so many players at Carrington, left at Carrington. So if he's got, he was to be left at Carrington, even for his mental health, he's got, he was going to be boring because most of his teammates will be back with their national teams in the international break. So they have decided he will join the Argentine national team as he goes on with his recovery, meaning he's associated with teammates and perhaps, you know, can come out there and, you know, have a ba some banter and chat to give him a good environment for his mental health as he does recover. And the expectation is that uh, the recovery will be on track. There won't be any setbacks. By the end of this month, Licha, the butcher, will be back to come back and butcher them in the English Premier League. Big one important player for how Eric Ten Hag and the team wants to play as we do fight for the FA Cup title but most importantly for a place among the top four. Now the fair update, the you know averagely good news is that uh, Johnny Evans is not completely badly off. Remember he has got a minor injury that he suffered I think from uh, the last game which performed so well after that it was said it was not a hundred and they they have, they have agreed that uh, they need to manage him the country North Ireland and the club Manchester United have got to manage Johnny Evans because we are talking a 36 year old player who is good and important both for club and country but they know he cannot give them at a hundred percent so they too have decided let's manage his game time even the players agreed to this that let's manage your playing time so that we get the best out of you, especially for Manchester United in the situation we are in. So that's why they opted to leave him out of the, 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 the team that was summoned ahead of North Ireland's game with Scotland, Scott McTominay's Scotland. So he won't be there, but there is expectations that he will play a part in the game against Liverpool on Sunday. So uh, Evans has got a minor injury, but they are just managing his game time. That's all that is being done by both the club and his national team. They are managing him because he's a fragile player uh, because of his age. For Harry Maguire, he is, uh, uh, again, we, we, we are hoping that he will be back. Chances are he's going to be back. He was summoned by England uh, for the England uh, you know, international break and the business that they're going to be having. And he is expected to be back uh, for the game against Liverpool. Without Evans, it is highly likely, actually, that Harry Maguire could be starting in the central defense together with Varane. That is the expectation. So for Maguire, things are looking decent. And uh, of course, the boss uh, will definitely give an update on him before the game. But it is, I think, uh, uh, a hope, uh, there is hope that he's going to be available for the games against Brazil and Belgium that England will play. Very important friendlies for England as they do build up to the Euros. These are two big games. And we know that Harry Maguire is an important part of Gary Southgate's setup. So certainly, his fitness is paramount. Uh, to both club and country and we are hoping that even on sunday he will be there to play a part so that's a bit of our injury situation with uh when, when it comes to uh, uh to to uh, the left to the right back uh Aaron one bisaka that one it's it's clear it's confirmed he will be back and he will be available for the liverpool game in fact there is high chance that he will start this game even if he has been out for a while the desperacy for a player who can come out and play left back is, the, is such that 
he should he could be starting now the bad news is what i'll end with the bad news and i hate to end with bad news we will not see Altel Bindel on the bench of Manchester United because of an injury to, the, uh, to, to him for the first time since joining Man United. So he won't be available for the Liverpool game. Man United goalkeeper Altel Bindel will miss Sunday's Emirates FA Cup quarterfinal against Liverpool due to injury. It has been confirmed. The 25-year-old is... Uh, uh, he, he made his debut against Newport. Of course, not that he was expected to play a part because, of course, if, if uh, we, we go by the past history, certainly Andrew Nana would start in goal and perhaps play the full 90 minutes. But the fact is you need a good backup goalkeeper if you're going to play against Liverpool. But also you always need your backup goalkeeper there. So it's sad that we're not going to be seeing Binding for the first time on the bench because the Turkish is uh, sustaining an injury. And uh, he will also be out of their upcoming friendlies against, against Hungary and Budapest and Austria, Austria in Vienna. He's not going to be playing a part of those. And he's, he's expected to be out uh, for around uh, two weeks. That's the expectation. He could be out for around two weeks according to the club and what they're officially saying. And uh, for Mason Mount, and uh, of course I talked about Harry Maguire and uh, Aaron Wan Bissaka. But for Mount, he's also back training with the team. And... Uh, even if he's been out for a long time, I think about four months since November, there is hope that after the international break, Mount will return. He may not be available for the Sunday game. So that's the injury situation as of today, as I speak right now to you here on the United Road Sport. But of course, regardless of who is fit, who is injured, Manchester United will be hoping and believing that we can go half and path and grind a result at home against Liverpool. What is the game plan for Eric Ten Hag with the injury situation that we are having now? What will be the game plan? Injury situation aside, well, the players who are fit seem to be psyched. I've been watching interviews of so many United players this week. I saw uh, Diogo Dalo with uh, the captain Bruno Fernandes. Then I saw uh, I, I, I saw an interview of uh, Ganacho with Kobe Mainu, and you clearly can see that these players are beginning to pick up to be in the right uh, frame good mental health, and you think it's a good thing to, to see if Man United is going to be back. I think the mental health of players is always going to be so important. So if these injuries are knocked off completely, I think for me, uh, United will not be as bad as we've all been uh, made to feel, you know, uh, like we are. For Tyrell Malaysia, it's one year, I think nearly one year since he last kicked a ball. Really, it's really bad omen for him. It's bad to see, but you never recover from that. Even if the cocks crawl, uh, it, you never recover from that. Hmm? You never recover from that. So what exactly is going to be made of Tyrell Malaysia and his future? We will see. He's 25. He can certainly come back and play football depending on his mental health and his mentality. But one year without playing football for Man United when you've not even got a chance to prove yourself, I think is extremely long and unfair on him. And it's sad to see. But that's, again the risk of playing football at the topmost level. It's always going to be difficult for any player. That's what's happening with Manchester United now. That is the injury situation. Of course, I see Kobe Mainu. Kobe and Mainu both trending separately. And uh, he has been summoned. That's the reason. Kobe Mainu has been summoned in England's under-21 team. He has been summoned in England, uh, England's under-21 among the midfielders. And let me see the under 21s. Uh, England uh, is going to be playing against Azerbaijan. And uh, the players that they have summoned include the little Kobe Mine of Manchester United, born on the 19th of April 2005. That is two days before I was born. Of course, so many years later, in terms of date, I was born on the 21st of, 21st of April. So literally, we share a birthday. No wonder I'm so endeared to him. But Yakobi is not in the England.